Well, uh, welcome to the second part of my review of the NVIDIA A600 GT. Um, if you remember in the first part of the review, I said I didn't much like it, and that hasn't really changed. I'm about to play a DirectX game on it, seeing as it doesn't seem to work on OpenGL like it says it does on the box, you know, the, the, the box is kind of inaccurate. And I decided to read the manual as well, which doesn't tell me jack shit and all the instructions in it from 1996, or somewhere around there. Uh, the thing they used as an example was a GeForce 2, so that should give you an idea of the age of that. No mention of PCI Express. It does talk about VLB and ISA slots, though. So it's a really up-to-date manual. But that aside, because I don't need the manual for anything, um, well, I was going to play a DirectX game. Okay, well, before I do that, I just want to point out the benchmarks, which you should see on the screen right now. According to these benchmarks, this card wipes the floor with my old one in 3D. And my old one's kicking its ass in 2D. Well, that's to be expected. But, you know what? I haven't really seen any improvement, you know. None at all. In fact, it's worse on this card. So why the hell would it get more points? Well, maybe it'll be better when I'm running DirectX. I don't run DirectX, so that means it's useless. So, but anyway, it, 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 it runs DirectX, then obviously that's something good for it. Okay, so I figure I'll test it out on DirectX. Well, it all seems to look nice enough. But it sure as hell doesn't play nice enough. Frame rate is absolutely awful. My 7.3 can handle this pretty well. The only thing that will cause problems on my 7.3 is if I start causing loads of smoke like this. But you know what? It looks a hell of a lot better on my 7.3, so I think I'll put it back in. I don't like this card, and I don't think it works very well. And did you see the pop up then when I turned round? It's having real difficulty rendering the environment. Now I know this game's cheap and crap, but that's besides the point. My old card could play it fine. My fucking ATI X300 could play this game more tolerably than this thing. And you know what? I played further into the game. Some of those big city parts of the level, it's absolutely terrible. Why does this card suck? This game's DirectX, and this card's supposed to be able to support DirectX 10. Well, if it sports DirectX 10, I hate to think in what way it does it. It's awful, and I don't like it. Okay, well here goes, I'll show you what it's like in these more complex levels. Look at this, it's awful! You know what, I'd throw a guess at that I'm getting little more than 10 frames per second on this. And it makes this game practically unplayable. I mean, normally I can handle the car fine, but with the low frame rate, it's just putting me off. And you know what? If it wants to play like that, it can. I'll just put my 7.3 back in. That's, that's it, that's my conclusion. This card is garbage. Somebody screwed up, and the things on the box are false advertising. Because it clearly doesn't support OpenGL very well, and it clearly doesn't support DirectX very well, nor does it have the amount of RAM it's supposed to, because it's using my computer's RAM to do that, and I've no option to turn it off. You know what? It sucks. And that's it. I don't like NVIDIA anymore, or at least I don't like x Effects now, because they've bullshitted. I'm taking this card back, and I'm going to stick on my 7.3. And you may laugh and you may flame me, but I don't fucking care, because I'll be happy in the knowledge I'm running a superior card. This also evidences that benchmarks are bullshit, because the benchmarks say this thing's ten times better than my 7.3. Well, if that's the case, why does it play like shit? And why is there so much pop-up on the environment? On maximum visibility, but you wouldn't fucking know. Look how long it takes to draw things. It's ridiculous. Well, there are a couple more things I wanted to point out, one of which is the name. I wondered why they'd call it the Fatality. Well, you know, I figured that it supposedly would sound cool, although it didn't do much for me. Uh, I was like, well, why give it that name, of all the names you could have given it? Turns out it's supposed to be some famous gamer. Well, guess what, Mr. Fatality? You're probably crap anyway, because you certainly don't know fuck all about graphics cards, if what it says is true, that you had a part in designing it. It's shit. So therefore, you're shit. 
Anyways, what else? Oh yeah, it turns out he's got a sound card as well. So I certainly won't be buying one of those at, uh, us at any point in their future, because it'll probably be like this card. Like, well, my fucking Gravis Ultrasound could probably outperform the sound card with fatality on it. And to be honest, right? Drivers. My mate Mike, uh, he's known as Mickey Bite on YouTube, um, he said that I should try some newer drivers. And he sent me a link to some. I tried it, and the card's running worse. These are the drivers I used in this review. And it's running even worse than it was before. Which just implies that they're digging themselves deeper into the same fucking hole. Um, well, you know, I don't like these new drivers. I can't be asked to put my old ones back on, because I'm putting my 7.3 back in. And I'll just put the drivers on for that. But he also says I should start tweaking the card. Well, why should I have to? I didn't have to do that with my 7.3. And I don't know if you can see in the background there, just that screen over there. Yeah? That's for an IBM computer, which is like 20 odd years old. And I've never had to tweak the card in that to get the best performance out of it. I mean, it doesn't do a hell of a lot, obviously. But that's besides the point. Why should I have to start tweaking it just to make it work? That's pointless. It's stupid. And I refuse to do it. If I didn't have to do it with my old card, why should I have to do it now? I didn't have to do that with my ATI 9200, which is really old. Or my GeForce 4, or any of my old cards. I don't intend to start with this one. It's crap. Well, maybe I did just get a bad card out of the batch, I don't know. But, it's my first Im impression of the 8000 series of GeForce. Well, the GeForce 8 series. And if this is my first impression, I just think it's rubbish. And it's, it's certainly not as good as the 7 series, that's for certain. I'd rather be on the 7 series. And uh, I've run a 9 series in someone else's machine before. They look okay. But it'd be wasted on my computer because it's just ancient. And, well, it's classed as ancient. It's only like 4 years old. But it wouldn't be able to take advantage of a card that was that big. And on top of that, it'd be too power hungry and my power supply wouldn't be able to put up with it. So, it looks like I'm going back to my 7.3. I hope you've liked watching my review and listening to me lose my temper with this graphics card. Um, if not, then that's not my problem. And you aren't getting any sympathy out of me because I'm pissed off enough as it is. Thanks for watching, and I will get that Sonic 2 review for the Master System done at some point in the near future if I can. But I have had some technical problems just lately, and this card has just added to the top of that. Am I treason? Good day.